Okay, welcome, um, Aries. I want to say thank you for being here. Let's see what is coming up for you, Aries. This is um, the um, period. This is a four weeks period, and we're going to be checking out what is coming up. Oh, buddy, or oh, what, or oh, what? Oh, Aries, there's a lot that is going on for you, especially young Aries people. You are going to be hit um, by Sagittarians. Um, a whole lot is transpiring. It's as if you and the Capricorns are going through a whole lot of situations. So what are we dealing with? We're dealing with the Scorpions. We're dealing with the Sagittarians. We're dealing with um, the Pisces, huh? we're dealing with the Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person, and we are dealing with a whole um, Scorpion man, Pisces man, okay? And I see problems for you young uh, Aries people. Uh, some of you young Aries people were not recognizing um, the Seven of Cups energy. Um, it's a very important that is the center of your reading the seven of cups energy um, is very important especially in a business reading and the seven of cups has to do with uh, um, the, um, Venus in Scorpio okay um, so a lot of you are going to be dealing with uh, a Scorpion person and it is not very pleasant okay so a lot of you Aries, whoever the Scorpion person is, I see that they're going to be creating a whole lot of issue for um, you young um, Aries. Um, whoever the Scorpion person is, is kind of um, very upset. Um, they are not considering um, uh, forgiveness for some sort of a situation. So um, Venus in Scorpion is, is not looking good. And if you have a Scorpion boss, it is not going to be a promising um, time for you guys, especially for young Aries, uh, whatever is happening and transpiring, I see you're going to be having uh, problems with a scorpion boss or a scorpion on the work floor, and it's not going to be very pleasant, okay? All right, let's look at the energy of what you're coming in. It is the energy of the Six of Cups is the sun in scorpion, also it is not very pleasant, so Aries that is dealing with scorpions, it is not going to be a pleasant time. I'm sorry, but you can see this energy already. Um, and I see these scorpions are going to be creating a whole lot of problems for you, Aries. So um, the energy with the Six of Cups, it is uh, co-workers, that sort of a situation that you're dealing with. And it is not going to be very pleasant. So a lot of you are going to be having a lot of issues and problems with co-workers. So, on the work floor, especially um, for a lot of you Aries, okay? So um, it could be co-workers, it could be um, your co-workers or your employees. Um, it's not going to be a pleasant um, 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 timeline in this timeline for a lot of you. So be aware of that and be alert um, that uh, some sort of unpleasantness so, with co-workers on the work floor that is going to be coming up and transpired. All right, so um, we are all aware of that. So let's look and see um, the first person that some of you are going to be dealing with, some sort of unpleasantness. Um, this is the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is always the energy of uh, um, some of you that was having some sort of unpleasantness. It will be over, okay? Um, but I see um, the progress um, the skills and knowledge of work. So um, the energy of Ten of Wands is about some of you having a lot of work and um, the progress between you and co other co-workers or the skills and knowledge of other co-workers or the skill of knowledge of you um, was not compensated with what you have on paper. So uh, some of you could have been... Um, uh, starting a new job and um, this is the second month and they're recognizing that what you said that you have uh, you have um, some sort of a 
um, skills in is not what you um, it's not coming over as that what it is so a lot of you Aries they're going to be recognizing this so a lot of you Aries could be starting a job and uh, um, they're recognizing that uh, your skill and knowledge is not up to peak as what you said you have on paper so you know it's, it's as if practice um, some of you is like practice so you have to practice so they're going to be um, pulling back your salaries for some of you um, or some of you could be um, moved to another department that sort of a situation but they're going to be recognizing that a lot of you um, Aries have skill and knowledge on paper but uh, you are not performing at that level okay so Sam Saturn in square in Sagittarian a lot of you, they're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian was the one who um, provided you with this job. A Sagittarian was someone who got you some sort of uh, curly curly long vita. They're going to be recognizing that uh, um, you are not the person or your skill doesn't match your curly curly long vita. So I see a whole lot of you are going to be having problems with co-workers and it's because co-workers recognize that your skills and knowledge that you come in to perform is you can't perform the skill and knowledge or you are not aware of uh, um, the the performance of the skill and knowledge that a lot of you came in with that you have that sort of a skill and knowledge it could be you or it could be a Sagittarian or it could be a scorpion, but I see that um, you're going to be having issues with co-workers. Um, and it has to do with the skill and knowledge information that is on CV. Um, there, you know, this person is not performing at that level. Um, so <clears throat> I see a lot of you, a scorpion or co-workers could be speaking about this. Uh, um, you could find out about it. And I see that they're going to be recognizing that a Sagittarian was the one who got you in um, a company and they're recognizing that the Sagittarian has falsified some sort of a document and um, paper to get you Aries in some sort of a company, okay? And then we see Hardship, the Five of Pentacles, okay? So whatever the energy of the Five of Pentacles, anytime this Five is about changes, oh, and whenever the energy of the Five of Pentacles comes up, oh, Five of Pentacles is Mercury in Taurus. So a lot of you have to speak to the boss. Okay, so communication with the boss is going to be coming up. A lot of you are going to be having some sort of a communication with the boss. And um, this is about um, desperation, trying to survive using your instinct. So a lot of you is going to be having some sort of a communication with the boss. Now, if the boss uh, and the communication is about your curriculum, Victor, it's about. Um, so this is coming up as a lot of you could be applying for a job. Um, some of you could be um, being promoted. Some of you, it is a uh, um, observation report. OK, um, so it could be coming up in a lot of form, but if you notice, so uh, the five of pentacles is on top of, um, you Aries in uh, this, uh, um, month. And this is not looking good for young Aries, especially if you young Aries have a scorpion boss, it is not looking good for you young Aries. Okay. Um, you, um, it's not looking good. Some sort of a report, um, that is going to be coming in some sort of a communication and report that is going to be coming in so we see the energy of the eight of cups and i see emotional um you aries are going to be emotional especially young aries and I'm, I'm talking about people between the ages of 25 and uh, um 50 you're going to be very emotional and i see you just have to recognize that it is time for you to move on so if you notice, you are going to be just accepting the fact and recognizing that, yeah, I have been here for some time. They don't want to extend my contract or um, they're recognizing that my work is still not above water. Um, and they're going to be telling you Aries, young Aries, okay? Then we see the energy of the Eight of Cups. And the energy of the Eight of Cups is about 
abandonment so yeah they're not going to be extending your contract they could be asking you to leave um so young aries i see um young and old aries i see that this could be happening that they're going to be asking you to leave because the eight of cups is about abandonment and it is about the dismayal and the dreams that are defected saturn in a pisces so i see um that they're going to be asking they're going to be doing reorganization and, and you are not going to be um, moving forward. Okay. So, um, Aries, um, especially Aries that has just gotten a job or young Aries, uh, 25 to, um, 45, between the age of 25 to 45. Um, you are not going to be moving forward. There is going to be some sort of a, um, organization and I don't see you Aries because this is the energy of Saturn. In Pisces, and the Saturn in Pisces is about um, not moving forward. It's about, um, you know, getting some sort of a message. And this is a message from the boss. So it's always about um, an application. You apply to a company. This is about reorganization. This is about uh, you communicating a person, a review um salary review or just a review a uh, personal review um so i see that a lot of you young aries are going to be having a lot of issues with the boss um so um this is another um energy of um, um this is sagittarian saturn in sagittarian so i see um also a sagittarian and a scorpion is going to be working against you young Aries okay so the ten of wands um, is Saturn in Sagittarius so if you recognize um, um, uh, Aries you're dealing with Saturn in Sagittarius and you're also dealing with um, Saturn in um, in Pisces so if you have a Sagittarius boss or you have a Pisces boss, there is going to be some sort of a reorganization where you young Aries are not going to be um, moving forward with the company. Saturn and Pisces, Eight of Cups. So, so um, you know, if you have a Scorpio boss, um, you have a Pisces boss, um, reorganization, um, and uh, Saturn, you know, when it's reorganization, it is, um, you know, yeah, Saturn is really reorganization. So reorganization could be coming up in the company. And if you have a Sagittarian boss, because there is Saturn in Sagittarian, and if you have a Scorpion boss, um, it's going to be affecting you, okay? Uh, yes, it's definitely going to be affecting you. Um, Venus and Scorpion. Yeah. So if you have a Sagittarian boss and you have a, a Pisces boss is going to be affecting you that this reorganization, um, Sagittarian and Saturn, it's not going to be in your favor. Young Aries, Aries between the age of 25 and 45, not going to be in your favor. The Eight of Cups energy is another energy where it is Saturn in Pisces. Saturn in Pisces. So, um, the, the, there's reorganization and the energy of Saturn in Pisces. A lot of you are going to be receiving some sort of a message, um, at the end of the month that, you know, some sort of a situation is not going to be moving forward because uh, you're going to be receiving this message. And this message is coming in for some of you from a Gemini. Or some of you from an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. And, the, you know, the Saturn in Pisces, they could be releasing a young Gemini also, okay, from their position. So, you know, this is, um, this is very serious. Um, uh, for some of you, it could be, um, that, uh, the reorganization is they're going to be taking on a young Gemini. Um, because if you notice, um, Aries, so you and this young Gemini is in the same age group, the age group between uh, 25 and 45. So I see your boss is going to be telling you, 
um, uh, Aries, that there is going to be a reorganization. And I see um, that you are dealing with a, a Sagittarian and a Scorpion. And they're going to be siding against you. And uh, they could be in management and they're going to be letting you know um, that um, there is going to be reorganization and there is not going to be a new position for you Aries. And I see a lot of you Aries, especially young Aries, is going to be very upset. Um, very upset because it's as if they have uh, hold you on a string. But did they hold you on a string or didn't you recognize that you should have leave? You should you should have walked away from the situation. Because now you're ending up with um, Pisces in um, in Saturn. And this is another situation where you're going to be recognizing that they are taking on someone else and uh, over you. Uh, it could be someone else in a company that they're going to be given a Gemini the position and not you, Aries. Whatever the situation is and whatever is transpiring, um, this is what we're recognizing that they're going to be given this Gemini the position over you, Aries. So, um, then I see, um, uh, you know, whoever the scorpion, if you have a scorpion man or woman, a lot of you, Aries, is dealing with a scorpion man. And whoever the scorpion man is, is not very happy with you, Aries, because the scorpion man is co in with the co-workers and colleagues to kind of work you out. And um, the scorpion man together with um, the co-workers have collaborated to vote you out that you were not going to be moving forward with them. So Saturn is about reorganization and bringing back discipline in a corporation institution. And they're going to be recognizing that some of you um, young um, uh, Aries were creating a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems. I see managers have come together and decided that the reorganization, um, you Aries, young Aries is not going to be moving forward. Now, uh, Aries men, I see you have a whole lot of problems because they're going to be recognizing that you Aries um, men or Aries business people are having a whole lot of problems. And um, there is a um, um, situation that data and information um, was found out and I see a Pisces is going to be a, a revealing a whole lot of sec secrets about you, Aries businessman. Whoever the Pisces is, the Pisces um, is going to be saving themselves, okay? And whatever is transpiring is that the Pisces recognize that you have been, um, you know, playing a foul play and having them involved in some sort of a problems and situation that has to do with a younger Ar Aries or Sagittarian person. And they, you know, they, you know, you Aries businessmen um, are going to be having some sort of an issue because they're going to be dealing out. I see that uh, um, co-workers or, you know, um, co-workers or people, they're going to be collaborating together. Um, this energy of uh, Saturn in Sagittarius with Saturn in Pisces is about people regrouping and collaborating against you. So, I am advising Aries, if you start a job, you learn and have an idea of your work because people are going to be letting you fall. So if you don't have any idea of what you're doing, um, do not uh, pack your CV and, um, you know, apply for a job because it's not going to be happening because they're going to be recognizing that you Aries, um, are not confident with the position or whatever that is on your CV, you cannot perform um, these duties. So um, I, I, I see that co-workers are going to be co-creating um, and really working against you um, young Aries businessmen. Um, a Sagittarian and a uh, Pisces is going to be... Um, uh, removing, uh, you know, just pulling the rug from underneath your foot. Um, I see that they're going to be recognizing that you have brought them in um, some sort of an undesirable um, situation and they're not going to be very happy. So I see that they are going to be co-created um, with a scorpion um, to really, um, uh, you know, reveal... Um, I see that three people, um, um, 
you Aries um, business people, three people are going to be co-created against you, four people. A Sagittarian, a Scorpion, a Pisces, and a um, Gemini. And these people are going to be really co-creating. And I see a Scorpion man is going to be the head of this um, to vote you out of some sort of an organization or to remove any um, connection or to give you up because they could have found themselves in some sort of a problem. All right, Aries, I got to go, but I do love you guys. Um, please, um, if you'd like to see the extended of this reading, follow us to the other side. If not, I am saying namaste until next time. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, thumbs up. Oh my God, I got to go. <laughs>